Okay, in discrete math, my students were asking me a question about one statement being stronger than another. So I'm going to do a few examples here in, a, in two videos. So here it says the definition of one statement being stronger than another. So statement P is stronger than statement Q if Q is true whenever P is true, but not conversely, i.e. P is not necessarily true when Q is true. In other words, if P implies Q is true when P is true, but Q imply P isn't necessarily true if Q is true, then I have P being a stronger statement. So let's take a look at this problem. Now, um, our textbook did one example in terms of truth tables. I'm not going to do it quite in terms of truth tables. I'm going to do it in a different way. So in this case, we do need to know what statement is P and what statement is Q in order to follow the definition. So I'm going to define statement P as A and B, and then statement Q as A. So now I'm going to assume um, P is true, because if P is true, and then I can show that Q is always true, then I have this half, and then I have to turn around and go the reverse. So I'm going to start with P being true. So if P is true, that means that A and B is also true. All right. Now, if A and B is true, if I take a look at a truth table, if A and B is true, then it has to also be true that both A and B individually are true as well. Okay. That's really important to understand here. If P is true, A and B is true. So we can say A is true, so the statement Q is also true. So what we showed here was if P is true, then if P, then Q is also true, always. If P then Q is true. Now let's try the converse. Let's start out with if Q is true. If Q is true, A is true. What can we say about B? Well, we don't have any information about B. A is true with no information about B. So since by the truth table, I have to know for sure that A and B are both true in order for A and B to be true, I can't make a claim here, can I? So I only know A is true, no info about B, therefore A and B is unknown, not necessarily true or false. So P is not true, not necessarily. I mean, in some cases, but it has to be all cases. Remember, this is mathematics. So what I did, what did I show? If Q is true, let me shift this a little bit. If Q is true, P is not true. So Q implies P, not true. when Q is true. Now, the, the idea here in this problem is to determine which one of these statements is stronger. So I showed here that this is true when P is true. This is not true when Q is true. So which is a stronger statement? Well, it says here statement P is stronger if Q is true when P is true. So statement one holds. Therefore, statement P is the stronger statement. No truth tables needed. You just kind of, I mean, I did have a truth table, but this is one that we, you know, that's like one of the first ones that we did. And it's very, very, very common sense, logical type of table. All right, now let's do some like more real world problems. If you can hear that scratching out there, just ignore it. So I have here, I have a quadrilateral 
and I want to know which one of these statements is stronger. R is a square, R is a rectangle. So I'm going to let P be the top statement, R is a square, and Q be the bottom statement, R is a rectangle, and I'm going to go through the same structure, same logic. So if P is true, that means that the quadrilateral is a square. What does that mean? So one, it is has four right angles, and two, all sides are equal. Four right angles and all sides are equal. Both of those are true. If a quadrilateral has four right angles, we can say that R is a rectangle. So Q is also true. Always, no matter what. If P is a square, it has four right angles, all sides are equal, but since it has four right angles, it is a rectangle, so the statement R is a rectangle is also true. So we showed if P is true, P means that Q is also true. Basically all squares are rectangles. Okay, now let's try the other one. If Q is true, that means R, the quadrilateral is a rectangle. All that means is it has four right angles. What do we know about the lengths of the sides though? We have nothing. We just know it has four right angles. The sides could be all of equal length, but we don't know that they're all of equal length. So like the previous problem, we have no info about the lengths of the sides. So, P is unknown to be true or false. So if it's unknown, then we just say it's false. So if Q is true, Q being a rectangle implying a square is false when Q is true. I guess I'm repeating myself here. So I have P implies Q is true, but Q implies P is false. Therefore, what conclusion that we can make? We can say P being R is a square is a stronger statement. Now, I'm going to do two more examples and one more video to help you further solidify this idea.